What you tell yourself and what you think is 10 times more powerful than what anybody else thinks about you. Trevor, who runs his own consulting group, is a veteran of the sports business and mental conditioning fields. How I would typically define what I do is help athletes get behind the type of habits that are gonna allow them to succeed at an elite level. Over the past decade, Trevor has worked alongside the best. He's been with Nick Saban for nearly a decade. He's helped Alabama and Florida State win four of the past six national championships. From tennis to soccer stars, basketball to baseball, Russell Wilson to Cam Newton, Trevor believes that mentality is an area that can consistently be modified and challenged to both do and be more. We're really motivated in three ways. We're motivated by fear, we're motivated by incentive, or we're motivated by this drive to be great, this intrinsic urge to be great. What I try to do is show our guys our best moments, our, our top successes, uh, being at the top of the podium, winning a national championship, what that felt like, and really focus on how we did it. And I believe in those things wholeheartedly. That's why we, we spend so much money in our support systems to develop and get these guys how to think, how to play with Trevor and all of our guys in the offseason with, with sports psychology and, and, and the, the player development. We've got a guy like Trevor that's around now. And we're, you know, we're more of a team now. Oh, Trevor's such a, I mean, it's in his blood. That's why he's such a, a good mental conditioning coach. He, uh, the guy knows everything about personality and knows about attitude and uh, positive thinking. The guy's so positive and, he, and, and he's so dedicated, I think. That's the biggest thing. You can tell he loves what he does, which makes him so good at it. We're focused on developing every aspect of the athlete. So we think how you think can be trained, how you think affects how you feel, which affects how you behave. So a lot of it starts in the mind, and we think that there's uh, very specific things you can do to help get guys better. So with Russ, every year it's about just sustaining great habits. He understands that he doesn't need to be sick to get better. You know, you don't have to be sick to get better. You know, I think that's kind of a, a thing that uh, Trevor Moat and I always talk about. Okay, success needs to sustain itself with more success, which ultimately come from doing the right things. This is the reality. You can only think about one thing at a time, okay? And when you hear, when you see that video, and you're talking about distractions and all these other things going on, you can only think about one thing at a time. And whether I'm playing in a World Cup, whether I'm playing at LSU, whether I'm playing San Jose State, Duke, it doesn't matter, okay? The beauty is what it takes to be a great football player and a great football team never changes. Does everybody understand that? It never changes. Okay, and it comes, your mind, it comes from keeping your mind on the simple things. No different than going into a grocery store. If I don't have a list, I'm gonna buy the wrong things. Understand? You gotta go into practice with that mentality. This is what I'm here to accomplish today. So this whole process right now, all this stuff that you're going through, you gotta convince these teams, these owners, that you're not that guy. You understand that? That you're gonna make good decisions. If you invest in me, I'm going to do the right things. And it's not magic. It's, I'm going to be there when I'm supposed to be there. I'm going to stay late. I'm going to study film. I'm going to be productive. I'm going to go out and do that. I love Trevor. He's got the whole team now. Like before, there's just been a lot of negativity like around the locker room. You know? He's taught us how to just stay positive and just keep pushing. The reality is we don't know if positive thinking works all the time, but we can confidently say that negative thinking does and it works negatively. Successful people do what unsuccessful people don't like to do. You know, there's no magic. And I want you to think about right now where you're at. I want you to think about right now where you're at and understand. Understand that no matter where that is, you don't have to accept it the way it comes to you. You can change it so it comes to you the way you want it to come to you.